Okay, we are going to see how quickly we can get a Laravel application up and running in Fly. So I already have Fly installed here, but if you need to install it, you can do brew install Fly on your Mac OS. And of course we have instructions for installing the Fly CTL command on whatever OS you happen to be using. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new Laravel project. So composer create project Laravel slash Laravel, and I'll call it new Laravel app. So that application exists, I can CD into it and I can just do fly launch. It really is that simple because fly happens to have support for Laravel. So it'll detect that it is a Laravel application and it'll just do the stuff it needs to do to run an application on fly. So it's going to auto generate an app name for me because I didn't define one. It sees the region closest to me, which happens to be Dallas, Texas. And it asked if I wanted to deploy now. Now notice it also set an app key for me as a secret within this app it just generated, the Misty Frost 480 app that it just generated. So it is doing a bunch of setup for me. It sets the app key secret. It generates a fly.toml file, which has some configuration in it. And I can just go ahead and deploy immediately. And what this is going to do is to use a Docker file that it just generated for me. It's going to build a Docker image and it's going to turn that image into a micro VM, a virtual machine that fly runs within the uh, DFW, the Dallas region that we selected. So if you've used Docker before, this output should be pretty similar to you. It's just a Docker build output. And then we're pushing that to the fly registry. And after that fly will deploy the image that we pushed to that registry to one of their servers. Okay, so that is finished deploying. We have our health checks that are passing. I can just go ahead and do fly open. And we can see over here that our Laravel application is up and running. Now, if I head over here to my dashboard for the Fly site, I can see, and I'll get rid of the mobile view here, we can see that the Misty Frost application just created is here and up and running. And I also have this thing that's marked as a free builder. What this thing is, is a Docker builder. It's a little uh, app. It's an app that is free. You're not charged for it. And it is the thing that is actually doing the Docker builds for you. So you do not need Docker installed locally to use Fly. So our app is up and running, and anytime we make a change to it, we can just run fly deploy. So we can just see that real quick. Let's go ahead and add a new route here. So route foo will return the string bar. We can go ahead and deploy that change. This is gonna do the same thing it just did last time. It's gonna rebuild our code into that image. It's reusing our remote builder, so it doesn't need to repull in the image. So it can use a bunch of the cache here, so it should be quick. And it's just pulling in our code changes and pushing that image back up and then it's gonna deploy our application over that image. The way it's gonna do that is uh, a create before replace by default. So it's actually gonna be a zero downtime deployment. All right, that's deployed. Let's head over here, head to our foo route and we'll see that it returns bar. Our new code has been deployed and it's ready to go.